rapping, so I really got straight. So my label want me to move back to LA. She said, Lucky, I'm proud of you. My bitch, like, nigga, don't even say thanks. Hey, what's good, YouTube? We're back with another video, and today I'm dropping a build I surprisingly have not dropped this year. Now, I've done locks, slashers, plenty of shot creators. I've even done bigs, and I don't play big, but I have not done a sharpshooting build. So just for that, make sure y'all drop a like on this video, sub up if you're new. We're coming up on 14K really fast, and I know I've been putting it on the outros, but I will let y'all know now. Once we hit 14, yeah, 14K subs, I will be doing a giveaway. All you have to do is subscribe, and make sure that you guys are following me on Twitter, Twitter name will be on the screen at any moment or something like that. Whenever I edit the video, y'all get the point. But yeah, this is gonna be the best sharp build I think you can make in current gen. And once again, this is a build that is gonna be able to compete with comp. And if I made one myself, I would make it just like this, okay? Now position this time is gonna be a shooting guard. Now between shooting guard and point guard, for some odd reason, the point guard gets less badges than the shooting guard does. Don't know why. So we're gonna put right-handed and we're gonna put number one. All right, it's gonna be like a Devin Booker build. But that's what we're going for here today for your pie chart we're going to choose the one that's like mainly green now if you guys are thinking about trying other ones this one right here i thought was good but honestly it's not worth it it's basically going to give you a playmaking shot creator but you don't have hall of fame dribbling badges so don't use that one just letting y'all know you want this pie chart right here physical profile we need speed because we're already going to be a sharp we're going to need as much speed as we can get now for our finishing a lot seeing a lot of people make this with no driving layup bro i'm i'm putting driving layup on this build all right we're going to do both of these right here that's it shooting we're going to max mid-range three point and post fade we're going to put to a 91 and free throw we're going to put this at a 80. so once you hit 80 that should give you 30 shooting badges now the reason why i did this is because the post fades in my opinion are mad overpowered especially like the post hop shots and stuff like that so if you have like these three categories right here like that's a 99 99 right there so a lot of y'all can't shoot let's just be real y'all be busting them whites at the park so you can have a 99 midi and three pointer and then if you really need a bailout move bro you're gonna have a 95 post fade like, it's, it's wraps playmaking we're maxing i think we're maxing literally all of these let me see now we're gonna take this down until we hit 13 okay so 55 on the post moves okay that's the max amount of playmaking badges that we can get defense perimeter out of quickness steel i'm gonna go down for defense because that really shows you where you're at and then we'll put the rest on block that puts us at seven so i mean what else is there nothing else gives you more badges we could go up here that doesn't do anything we already know shooting if I go 85, I think 30 is the max you can get. Oh, we just gonna put it right here. We just gonna put it right here. Okay, that's what I thought. You can't get any more badges than this with this spread. Now, I do know that if you take off your driving layup and then go down here, you can get eight defensive badges. I don't know if you get nine. You can get all the way up to nine, but I'm not doing that. I wanna be able to lay the ball up, brother. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. But this is what we're going with right here 130 14 and 7. i think this is pretty good you're still able to attack the rim you're going to be able to get dunk packages with this so we're just gonna keep going body shape i'm gonna put define i've been putting built later and he swole neck i look like terry cruz height you want to go with six four six four because we're trying to get as close to the pro dribble moves as possible as fast as possible so we're gonna go with six four that doesn't affect anything else for the weight you got two options you can literally just go all the way down or you can go up to like 177 you see here and just get that extra strength some people say strength matters i don't think it does i'm just gonna go with the last the minimum weight just because i don't know even though it doesn't say i get more speed i don't know let's just hope that it does all right wingspan you're only gonna go down i think twice yeah you're only gonna go down twice there you can see 76 ball handles so once you hit 99 you're gonna be able to have pro dribble moves because that's actually that's definitely gonna be necessary so after all that my career or whatever you're going to do to grind your badges you're going to want to be able to have some type of pro dribble move so you could also handle the ball and not just your guard or you could be the guard with this lineup too it just i don't know whatever you guys want to do with it take over if this is really a devon booker build probably like a shot creator but honestly i really like spot up shooters so i'm going to pick the sharp one that's basically what everybody else should pick too to be honest 
and then you see here you have built a sharpshooting facilitator so they actually compare you to clay i guess that's the best one allen houston and cj eh, it's cool whatever then we're gonna go on to test the build oh this takes all right 99 badges finishing contact finisher that's the only thing i can really think of just so maybe you can like catch a body or like get some layups going or something like that if you don't do that one then i would probably do consistent just because you probably you might not time these layups great so it's just up to you i'm going contact shooting we are gonna do hot zone range green machine I'm actually not that high on green machine anymore, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I will be doing a new shooting badge layout where I'm I'm gonna just change that up. But let's just, just say green machine, dead eye, clutch shooter. I like difficult shots. Let's do volume shooter. No, let's do silver. And then we're gonna do catch and shoot. And we got two more. So me personally, I would do probably corner specialist. Or maybe hot star if you really feeling yourself like that. Like 99 three-pointer i might do hot start just to get an extra boost to my shooting i've seen people use tyler shooter let me know in the comments does that badge actually work on current gen because i don't know i'm seeing people use it so between hot start or corner specialist depending on how confident you feel and actually i gotta take this off because bronze bronze is better than everything but hall of fame on volume shooters so i'd probably do this or hey you really that bad I won't throw that on there, but probably like this. Playmaking, this is mad easy. It's not a lot of choices. Quick first step, handles for days, unpluckable, ankle breaker, and then bail out and probably stop and go. Or can you get Lob City? Depending on if you play with a big, maybe Lob City or something like that, I'd probably say stop and go. Just because you are mainly gonna be shooting the ball, so them quick stops are gonna be like mad necessary. Defense, I wish I had seven, I only got five on mine. I do pick dodger on gold. I only use clamps on silver and probably intimidator also. Gonna be 6'4 with a decent wingspan, so maybe you can affect guards who like speed glitch and stuff like that if you contest late. So maybe like this, or actually lightning reflexes is actually pretty good too. Something like that, so you, you can play the lanes and stuff like that. Something like that, or Interceptor. You have a lot of options here. It's just up to y'all. But I'd do this if, I, if it was me. So that's pretty much it. I think this is the best sharp build that you can make on this game. Sorry, my watch keeps going off. I don't know who keeps messaging me. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the best sharp build that I think you can make on current gen. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I also feel like this is a good Devin Booker build. So that's probably going to be the thumbnail. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.